morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Calistoga, California. Thank you for joining us, especially those who are participating in our Eucharistic celebration online. Um, we welcome all families who are present, um, visitors from out of town, and all of you, brothers and sisters, who are before the Blessed Sacrament. Our prayers are powerful, so we shall pray for the following intentions. We pray for Mar Mario Barroyo, um, Daisy Hernandez. Both of them are in the hospital right now, and they've asked us to pray for them. They're fighting for their lives. We pray for those with cancer. Um, you know who you are. Um, we pray for you. I pray for an aunt who's very sick also in the hospital right now. Her name is Tessie. We pray for Tessie. We also pray for the Filipinos right now who are within harm's way. Um, we have a category for storm and now it's 120 miles per hour. Uh, it's, it's not not a good good news for, for many of my people. Uh, so we pray for them for their protection. We also pray for those who are dying right this very second and those who will die tonight. We pray for all of those souls in purgatory. We especially pray for the souls of Mary Ann Schramm, Philemon Etron, um, Katie Richards, Will and Pat Drew, and uh, we remember Jackie Cadiz and many others who will be undergoing a me medical procedure tomorrow. I am going through a medical procedure tomorrow too. I'll have an eye operation. And so is Rick. So we pray for Rick and myself. Thank you. Let's come before Jesus and adore him. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, to God and to Him, blessed be Jesus Christ, to God and to Him, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred light, blessed be His most precious light, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Bonsko. Blessed be your Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be your Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste mother. Blessed be God in his angels and his
together to celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our processional hymn is number 710, Come Now, Almighty King. Let us greet our pastor to celebrate Father Andre and join in the celebration of the Eucharist. Please stand.
to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Thank you. 
Lord Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and only ruler who made manifest at the proper time, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. I was reflecting about how we were presented in theology, looking and having a perspective of heaven, 
we spoke about heaven. We seldom spoke about hell because most of the time when we spoke about hell, we would reflect on what is going on in this lifetime. During this lifetime, when there's war, there's famine, there's drought, there's, it's almost like hell. But truly, it is purgatory. Nothing is like hell. And when we were presented about heaven, and when we spoke about what's going on right now, we always have to look straight to our de final destination, which is heaven. And that is okay. But most of the time, we were taught not to preach too much about hell because we don't want people to fear because fear doesn't have anything to do with love. We start with love, with our experience of love. And then when we are filled with love, we can reflect on what we can change in life so that life will not be like hell, not only for ourselves, but especially for the people around us. We make life not miserable, but tolerable, so that we can carry on from this lifetime to the next, viewing our life as a test, so that when we enter the portals of heaven, the gates of heaven, we know that we have been purified through this lifetime. Now, brothers and sisters, that's so theological. But what I would like to focus on, brothers and sisters, is the idea of how it is not to be selfish like the rich man. You see, there is nothing really wrong about being rich. Thank God for our talents, our time, and our resources. We built these things with our own hands. And some of us may have inherited the things that we own right now. And thank God, because we have these resources, but they do not belong to us. Us. That is what Jesus is saying. I don't want you to be like that rich man. It is not so much his riches that is wrong. It is his attitude towards his brothers and sisters, those around him. What his sin, brothers and sisters, was this, that he did nothing nothing at all. He saw the suffering of Lazarus, but he did not connect with the suffering of the poor man. And that is what Jesus is teaching us. Do not be calloused. Observe what is going on around you. Then when your heart is quickened, if you truly love me, then express the love that I have given you by paying it forward, knowing that out of love, you are doing something good for the other person. And that other person will be grateful not only to you, but to this God who is merciful towards him or her. Because brothers and sisters, we, whether we like it or not, and this is the question that most philosophers and theologians have. Why do we have to suffer so much in life? And for us to discover this, we have to go through the suffering, our own suffering. We have to experience the pain of being human so that we can suffer together with others like Jesus did. That is, brothers and sisters, what it is called to be in heaven. We start heaven right now, and we proceed to the afterlife, bearing all the good gifts that the Lord has given us and the people whom we have served in our lifetime. We made a big difference in our lifetime. But brothers and sisters, as I said, we are calloused. We are selfish. 
we only focus on our lives. We are like teenagers who don't want to listen. We have our ears stuffed on many things. Our eyes are focused on other things. And what Jesus is always saying is, focus on me. Come back to me. Love me. And share your experience of prayer by acting your good deeds towards others. That is the kind of mission that I'd like to give to all of you right now. And that is what Jesus is saying. This is our mission, brothers and sisters, to continue what the Lord has done for the poor, for those who are suffering. What do we mean by poor, brothers and sisters? These are people who are sick. These are people who are grieving, who have lost a loved one. Have we ever visited a sick person? Have we ever visited an elderly woman or man who's alone? Have we ever even spoken to our mother who is alone at home and who's waiting for our call, who's waiting for a hug from us? That, brothers and sisters, is what you call charity. That is what you call love. Have we ever visited the prison? Have we ever stopped and looked at the other person as we walk through life? That is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. I would like to end with a story. There was this woman who, was, who has been calloused for many, many years because she had three miscarriages in her lifetime. The third was the most fatal of all. I'm sharing this not to make you afraid, no, but just to reflect. The third one was most fatal because she had lost so much blood. She was in the ER. And she told me, and I asked her if I could share this story. Yes, she, she said, yes. I have spoken to many people. I have always heard about this out-of-body experience, that they, they were almost dead, and they saw heaven. But two of the people that I've spoken to had a different experience. They went to hell. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. It is very uncommon. She said, I went to hell, Father, and as I was going down, there was a cold hand that snatched me. <clears throat> and she said to herself, that must have been my husband, because she had not, he had not shown love to me for many years. But here I am bleeding to death. And then she said, it must have been God. Fast forward, she forgot about the incident. She forgot about God, carrying on her merry life. But then came the opportunity for her to bring her two children to catechism, to class. So, begrudgingly, she brought her children over to class and listen to the teacher as the teacher was speaking about the faith. And she said, oh. And then as she was listening, she said, okay, now I'm forced to come to church. Hmm. And then suddenly, as she went to confession and prayed with her two children every day, she had a conversion. She had a change of heart. She says, I am not forcing myself anymore. I am beginning to love Jesus. And then, as she prayed, she said, these two children were instruments for me to come back to my God. These two children, imagine, God using two innocent children, so insignificant. I would have already missed the opportunity to listen again, listen and listen to God speaking to me all through my lifetime. It was through these two children that I had a change of heart. And guess what? She now teaches catechism because she feels 
that she owes it to the children to come back to God. You know, brothers and sisters, a mission in life will be more profound and significant if we continue to pray and then ask God, Lord, let my love for you truly grow deeper. And the Holy Spirit, who is the God of love, will show us in many different ways how we could be charitable and kind. Just be kind. That's all Jesus is asking from us. Be kind, K-I-N-D. And that is all it takes to be like Jesus, to be kind. I'd like to share with you what I have learned again from the Jesuits. I used to be a Carmelite, but I was, I have the honor of being educated by the Jesuits. Prayer of St. Francis. It is not your promised heaven that moves me to love you, Lord, nor the fear of hell that forces me to fear you, Lord. What moves me is the sight of you fixed to a cross and mocked. What moves me is your wounded body that words hurt you, the blows that broke you. What moves me, Lord, is your love, even if there were no heaven. Hmm even if there were no heaven, I would love you still. Even if there were no hell, I would still be in awe of you. For me to love you, you need nothing to give, even if I did not hope, as indeed I hope. Even so, I would love you, as indeed I love you. To be kind to your brothers and sisters means to be in love with God. And He will show you how to love and pay it forward. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, Father of all maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. The only begotten Son of God, born and Father for all the ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with God, through Him all things were made, for us men and for us nation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in the of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and was crucified. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Firm in faith and trusting in God's love for us, we offer our prayers for our families, for our community, and for the entire world. That all church members discover the measureless riches of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The spirit of charity and mutual support permeate our culture and the entire world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That adequate safety nets be provided for all migrants and refugees. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer want to, that, that those who suffer want to have advocates to work with them as they seek to better our society. 
side. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let this community find new ways to bring the message of the gospel to our neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment of silence and be grateful to God for the blessings that we have received in our lifetime. Maybe we have not been true, but we are not very grateful to God for all the blessings, even though we have little blessings, tiny blessings. Let us be grateful to the Lord right now, right this very moment. Father in heaven, thank you for blessing us with so much. They may be few, they may be in abundance, but just the same, thank you for loving us. We pay it forward by reaching out to others who are in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you for your love for our parish. If you notice, our collection last week was only 700. I have never seen such a number during my entire 25 years as a priest. But thank you for your generosity. Maybe you can give more today. Thank you. God bless you all. Oratory heaven number 432. How great we are.
you gather them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, may the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy we proclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, among all holiness. May the holy, therefore, these gifts be prayer by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become false, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink upon it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray for taking the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember Philemon Ephraim, Terry Lulin, our loved ones, Katie Richards, Will and Kathy. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And we pray for the healing of those with cancer and those undergoing depression. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. the rest of the child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we now come before the world of grace. Set in all into confidence as we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the same of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. 
Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, our Redeemer. He gave himself for us. He asked us to do the same for our brothers and sisters. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the Lamb, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. I would like to offer my communion for our CCD parents and students, especially our volunteer teachers.
those who have joined us online and have not received communion, we join you in praying the act of spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacrament of you, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never to permit me to be separated from you. Now pray the end of Christi, the prayer for vocations, and prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me.
Thank you, Jim. Um, so I, I'd like to thank those who are those who have prepared a little something for me after the 12 noon Spanish Mass. Um, the hall is festooned. Um, it's not because of me. Somebody used it last night, and out of generosity, that person decided to not completely disregard what's the decoration and stuff. It's such a beautiful garden right now. So if you want to take a look at it, do so. This is the potential that we have in this parish. We can have such a beautiful event. So take a look. Um, you, might, you might be encouraged by the beauty of our parish. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O oh Father, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co heirs in glory with Jesus, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and all the members of your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is sended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Session number 474. Thank you, Justice.